What do you think of your new car? Do I get to drive her around for a little bit? Well, when she's done, yeah. Did you paint the bumper? No, I bought a new one. <laughs> no, you didn't. What do you think? A little looks, shitty, but a little bit better? It looks really good, baby. Thanks, brother. Well, it looks honestly like a whole new car. Well, you gotta check out the rear bumper as well. And I painted the scoop. That was like the main hiccup. Yep, it's pretty hiccupy. Oh. Oh, yeah, don't mind the runs. I just gotta do a little sand in there. <laughs> Not bad, though? Jeez, she looks really good. Now you need to do the whole car. What? The I'm rest of the car is mint. I'm Nearly mint condition. It looks really good, baby. Good job. Rate it on a 1 out of 10 scale. I would say a 9. Because it's a little shitty, but not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd say it's really good. It's just the runs that are hiccuping. Oh, I could sand them out, brother. That's why it's a 9. You're a 9. If you're really that good, they would not be there. Ow, that's my cheeks. It's freaking stinky ass ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> what? Alright, baby, let's go for a walk. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Bobby and I are both headed to the shop right now. I decided to take the 10 home. Just really enjoying this car these days. This thing's, this thing's fun to drive. We're both headed to the shop. We gotta work on Bobby's car and we are lowering the Evo 10 today. So I'm excited. Maybe we should just show your butt and pretend it's mine. <laughs> so, we have two cars to work on. I wasn't done talking about my OnlyFans. We have a silver Evo. We have an OnlyFans, Gary. Which one do you want to work on? Gary? Um, my mom's. She's not here. Is she coming? I don't know. I texted her. What do we all have to do this? We're lowering her today. We're lowering her today. We do mine. I figured. So we ordered up some upper control arms for Bobby's STI. You wanna come here real quick and hold my camera? I need to use my hands when explaining. Maybe I'll explain a little bit better on the lift. Bobby's car is beautiful, correct? Almost as beautiful as you. Oh. Holy, big truck. Any day yeah, not be so Don't boy. do that. Um, she wants a little more camera out of the rear like we discussed. And there's two ways to do it. Upper control arms, which are expensive and do it right, or lower control arms, which are cheap and might give you a little bit of camber, but the problem, here's the problem. When you do lowers, you're pushing the bottom of the wheel out to get the camber, but when you do upper control arms, you're pulling, the bottom of the wheel stays in the same spot, but the upper pulls in just to get that tiny bit of camber. So we already, I didn't show you guys this, but we put lowers on the car. I'm like, nah, this is, I don't like this. Took the lowers back off, bought some uppers. They're twice as, three times the price. <laughs> and today we're gonna put the uppers on. Let's do it. Let me get Stance Boy here out of the shop. Should I do a burnout? Sure. You think she'll even start? Can I get a cold start for the boys? No, we'll do a front start. Front start? Mm -hmm. <laughs> reverse light right there it's the it's the delete mod they look really sick when you delete them on how much did that reverse light delete mod cost you um zero pennies so the goal with this with bobby's with bob's gary the front's how she wants it correct if it were really my choice i'd drop her like another half inch but it's just not possible so the front's where she wants it essentially because if it was another half inch lower, she would uh, look at it in the garage all day and not drive it because it'd be slammered. So, hmm, pretty freaking low if maybe, you ask me. Maybe we should just put it on air. Maybe we should just put it on air. Today, we're gonna make the rear look like the front by lowering it a little bit and adding the upper control arms. 
That's the goal. Let's do it. These are the arms that we're installing today. You guys might recognize this box, and the reason why you might recognize this box is because these are the same exact to the T control arms we have on the FRS. Same, they have the same arm. Bobby, you're not gonna like these. Why, are they like green or something? No. Blue? Yes. Uh, I only want a dread. They don't, you can't even see them though when they're on the car, so yeah. it's all good. P2Ms, phase two, uh, motorsports I think is what it's called are the best control arms for the money from what I see. I think they're five, 550 or 600 shift. What? The frick, that's expensive. <laughs> for some You're... bars that I could weld myself. I mean, look at your car though. My car is expensive. I don't want to put shitty arms on your car. Look at the beautiful ass things. These are actually really, really nice. Phase two motor trend is what it's called. So, yep, these are going on the STI today and we're also gonna lower it a half inch while we have it up in the air. If you guys wanna buy these, I'll link them down below. I bought them off eBay because they were cheaper there and they came in two or three days, which is very fast. That's a deal. Let me, let me go ahead and pull the wheel off and then I think there's three bolts we gotta remove to get the, the factory upper control arm off, which is not adjustable. Sloppy adjustable boy on, we'll be done. Wham bam, chicka la cam. Also, come here. Some of y'all like to roast me all the time. No hard feelings. Y'all say, Devin, you have this beautiful big drawer of impact sockets, which I do. Big shout outs to SK Tools for hooking it up. The problem is when you take an impact socket, because they're thick, and you go ahead and pop a wheel off, you see how that doesn't fit? I mean, maybe with a little bit of lube, we cram her in there. Lube. Lube. <laughs> so that is the reason, guys. You ain't gonna see me using non-impact sockets otherwise when i'm on the impact but then if you take a regular chromie a thin walled boy oh yeah okay just like she's lubed up baby what's up yeah inappropriate i know here's the little control arms that we already put on and took back off sick no one cares <laughs> you want no secret Back in the day, I used non-impact sockets and everything. I've never once broke a socket in my whole entire life. How's your tire already bald, bro? Playing with you. So this right here, let me just grab this from you. This guy right here is the upper control arm. Bolt back there, bolt back there. Some clips for the ABS sensor, and then a bolt right there. Or like a, like a what would you call that? That would be called a hubcap. I think you're a little bit off on that one there. Well, not a hub cap, but it definitely looks like a hub of some sort. You look like a hub. No tip. You feel like a hub. <laughs> Don't be jealous. You got a biggest belly as me. Baby, why are you so close? So the upper control arm bolts are a little bit of a B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Never heard>. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bitch. They're a bitch to get to. Whatever. <laughs> Um, so here's what you gotta do. I got a 17 mil shallow, and then I think it's a three inch extension and a one inch, and I dump her back right out here so we can, we got a little leverage action. So that's how you get the rear bolt out and then the front's a little bit easier. But yeah, that rear one's kind of a B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of a slut to get to. So let's go ahead and pop that guy off. B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> Do you have a question about my muffle, my, about my exhaust tip? Is this a, a burnt tip? Well, it is really crusty and I didn't know if I could like sand it down. B-I-T-C-H number one is off. Beautiful. I think we're using these. I don't know why we wouldn't. OEM Subaru's hardware is the goat. Oh, I'm topple over. Why don't I just lift the car up? Cause I don't want to. This is a bitch. <sighs> she seized up. <sighs> Come on, strong hoss. There we go. I love what kind of new cars. Okay. <laughs> the 
push the upper, the top part in now instead yeah. of pulling the lower out. Be fucked with that. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot! I took the wrong arm off. This is the toe arm. No, it's not. Damn it! What are we gonna do? <laughs> Follow me. All right. There's the difference. Jeez, that one looks like a freaking piece of metal junk. It is a piece of metal, for sure. In junk? Yep, junk. So, yeah. <laughs> this right here, fully adjustable. I think you can get negative, it's like negative 12 or something crazy amount of camera out of these things, which Bobby is going. Negative probably, four. Negative four? I was gonna say negative three. Damn, you rubbing these fenders away, boy. Good. Um, and so not only that, but if you take a look at the FRS, if you go way back in my videos, when we were trying to get that thing like slammed all the way to the ground, which I know is pointless, but it looks sick as cool. Sick as cool. <laughs> it looks sick as hell. It's cool as shit is what I was trying to say. We, have, we were having a problem with the upper control arms hitting the actual frame of the car itself. With these, you get so much extra clearance if you are a stance boy and if you're on air and you're having that problem, these things provide more space. Probably get the right side though. Oh, these are beautiful. They really are. Why yeah. they're not rancher red? I know. We might have to powder coat them. Nah. Okay, Mr. Sex Butt. Sex Butt? Mm -hmm. What's a sex butt? That's what I'm going to do to your butt. You have straight issues. <laughs> So the passenger side control arm is on. This adjustment here is still loose. That is how you are going to adjust the camber. So we're gonna leave that loose for now. Let's do the driver's side. Control arms are all finished up. We're gonna go ahead and lower the car as well. So the yellow speed racing coilovers, we're gonna drop down a half inch. This distance right here is gonna be a half inch smaller, meaning we're taking this shock body right here and threading it down into the lower mount. Very simple to do. All right, we're all finished up. If you come take a look at her, it appears that we have positive camera, not negative. <laughs> but we're gonna lower it down. We're gonna see, this thing's gonna need a lot of adjusting, so enjoy this fine little time lapse that we're about to roll. Ooh, she's kind of low. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little too low? What? Not at all. <laughs> what do you think? Freaking sexy. Sheesh. She kind of just like glided right off of there. How does she feel? Stancy? Yeah, she does feel like a All right, we're all finished up with her. Front stayed the same, rear, a little bit lower, tiny bit more camber. She passes the vibe check. Ooh, <laughs> damn, she's tighter than something. Anyways, she looks sick. 
Now Bobby can go scoot down the road and all the little boys are like, yeah, sick car, dude. And then Bobby will roll down the window and it's a bad bitch. <laughs> Why you have this all planned out? Yep. Cool. All done. Control arms will be linked down below. Yeah, go buy some. Much easier, would you say? Easier doing it this way versus lower. I just want to go home. And eat pizza? Mm-hmm. All right. All right guys, let's move on to the Evo 10. Get it pulled in the shop, get these wheels off, get the struts off, and get this thing lowered down a little bit. Actually, let's pull it in the shop and I wanna measure how high it is right now and see how much these springs actually lower the car. All right, so as of right now, we got from the ground to the little fender lip, 27 and a quarter in the front and 26 and three quarter in the rear. The springs we are throwing on this car are some Ibox. We've had these laying around for a while. If you want to pick a set of these up, I will have them linked down below. Should only take us about hour and a half maybe at most. I know Bobby wants to go cruise tonight and I think we're gonna take out the FRS. I just washed Bobby's car for her, so it's all good to go. I might wash the FRS and just go on a little cruise tonight. I would take the Evo 10, but we, took the steering wheel out of that car and shipped it out to have it redone. I'm talking about the half wrapped Evo 10. And then the silver one, it's not all that cool yet, so I don't wanna take that car. We got all the shuts off. It's very, very easy to do on an Evo. It's like 15, 20 minutes of worth of work. I should pull out the spring compressor right now, but I do feel like being a little bit sketchy. So I'm just going to impact off the top hat nut and it's gonna shoot the top hat and the spring's probably gonna go flying and hopefully it doesn't hit a car. When we're going back together, we're probably gonna have to use a spring compressor to get that top hat nut back on, but coming apart, it'll be all right. All right, we got all the, sh the new springs on the struts. The fronts were very, very easy. No compressors required. The rears were, were a B-I-T-C-H once again. <laughs> but yeah, we're all good to go. So I'm gonna get these back on the car. Bobby, you're helping me. 
Yes. Yes? You can do the front, so I'll hit the rears. Okay. I'll just be the nut holder. Okay. All right, let's get her together. And so I'm gonna hold this up, and you're gonna thread a nut onto my shaft. The nut's gonna be right there, okay? And here's the nut. Okay. All right, your duty here is done. I think you should raise it so it looks like that. But wait, there's more. She needs some like 10 mil spacers on her. Or some new wheels. Or new wheels. Looks really good, babe. I forgot what it was before. I gave Devin a black guy, everybody. You gave me a black guy? Black eye. Oh. Holy shit, that thing has got positive camera on it. Yeah, she does. 25 and 3 quarter. Shit, what was it before? 27 and a quarter? Inch and a half? Sick. It's <laughs> a bad bitch. Alright, well, we're all done with the spring install. She needs an alignment. Some camber adjustments. Slight camber adjustments. But Bobby and I are gonna go for a little rip. What car are you taking? Mine. What car am I taking? FRS. Say less. We we don't really drive much, you know, for enjoyment purposes, you feel? Mm -hmm. Last time we did was like a month ago. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna go do. This is done. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. I don't think I'm gonna beat you up, huh? Pull your damn car up. Baby, I don't wanna. You thought I was gonna take forever? Oh, wow. God. Hold on, there's a big old chunk in there. I don't know, you're an eye doctor. Okay. Good? Bobby had dirt in my eye, boys. <laughs> I didn't do anything. So we got both Gary and, what's her name, Silver? Tim have a name, she's not really a part of the family. What? She's not. Bullshit. They get a name when they're gonna be here longer than like a couple months. We got Gary and Silver chilling out here. I'm gonna go ahead and say that Eva looks better than Gary, what? but to each- Her th literally looks like a big toe. Your car looks like a big toe. Silver. It looks like a freaking big ass toe. What kind of toe? A uh, ugly one. Like a thumb toe or like the, the big toe? or The, the big toe. I understand. Eva looks way better though. It's coming along. Slowly but surely. I think over this next week it'll look uh, a thousand times better. And you guys will see why. But Gary's all finished up. Exterior wise. It's a couple things I've been dreaming of to put on this car on the exterior. First thing is a Varus diffuser. Um, Ooh, big baller out here. And secondly, new taillights. Gonna use that little $1,400 stimmy check to buy that Varus diffuser or what's up? We're getting a stimulus check. I don't know. I don't really want one, but you can have it. I'll take it. I'll get my diffuser with it. Sure. Oh, and brakes. Rancher Red coming soon. All right, official measurements. It'll settle probably another quarter inch, but we are at... 26 and 5 eighths, so let's say 26 and 3 quarter. Wait, did I say 26? I think I meant 25. 25 and 3 quarter. 25 and 3 quarter. Oh, you're good. Even, Steven. What are mine at? 25. Mine's way lower than yours. Mine's faster. What's up? That's a wrap for working on cars. I'm gonna jump in the FRS. Hopefully we don't break anything. There's something a little rattly in the rear of that car. Pretty sure we lo we're in the process of losing a diff.
We're all finished up with our little cruise. It's kind of fun just hanging out on a Sunday. I'm driving around, taking photos and whatnot. I'll throw some photos on the screen. We found some really, really sick locations. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. Rarely do we actually take the cars out and enjoy them. So that was sick. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Anything that we installed, I'll link down below. Peace out, I'll see you boys tomorrow.